Hello everybody. How you doing? Is my audio working? I don't know. Because <clears throat> so I didn't even check that. Hey, um, I just heard it with my own ears. There we go. Uh, how are you, chat? Audio is there. Nice. Um, thanks for the three subscriptions from Free Range Ethernet. Thanks for the 12 months. What's this? A year already. Happy year. Happy year to you. Arian, thanks for the 37. Now it's been three years. It's... I'm really bad at basic maths. Well, Arian, you are amazing. Anumaka, thanks for the 27. 27 months. 37 months is crazy. Crazy. Wish you could set prime subscriptions to auto renew. Yeah, I, I wish I. Mm, sometimes I like to switch my prime subscription around. And he's dressed like my zomboid character. Oh no. Thanks for the subscription, Phalaxion. Phalaxion. Oh my gosh. I feel like, you know when you start doing something important and you have to talk to real people and then suddenly you've got like loads of crap in your throat. That's what's happened to me. Um, thanks for the hype train. Ray Tracer, thanks for the 100 bits. Um, did I decorate my office? Kind of. I basically put some fairy lights up, but that's the only thing that's changed. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take them down after the stream because they're in the way of my door. So not really sure what to do with them. Kind of a pain to have up all the time, but they look nice to stream. Um, thanks for the hundred bits from Xarg and five gift subs from. For Selsig. Thanks very much. You guys are great. Oh my gosh. I haven't really thought about music. Um, are you here? There's my song list. There's no um there's no song list this evening, if anybody was expecting to see a thieves. We, uh, we can't get together today to stream, so we thought, I thought I'd just do something. By myself. You're trapped in a fairy light ring. Um, so I haven't really thought about what to start with, but maybe, maybe I'll start with Hogai Man because we just released it a while ago. Has everybody seen the dice, by the way? That's exciting. That's what happened today. Very exciting. Um, Hogai is a banger. Yeah, uh, we don't have a solid release date yet because the factory can't give us a solid release date, so when when we have one there will be one i realized i left my capo over here exciting i'm gonna i have to retune for hugger so enjoy
dice look very mathematical. They are mathematical. They should be coming in a nice little metal tin, by the way, which I don't think was on the photo. Half expecting the Hog Eye Man bid on Tuesday. Ooh, when's it coming out? Ooh. Right, Hog Eye Man. I'm just going to play it instead of talking. Um, if any if anybody hears my microphone peaking, by the way, there's a high possibility I can tweak it a little bit because um, yeah, I it might peak when I sing loud. Uh, the dice. The, we announced the dice on our social medias, um, Phalaxion. So like Twitter and Instagram and stuff. around the wrong. Sifting sand, that's the one. Sally's in the garden, sifting sand, log eye man, sitting hand in hand with a hog eye, oh, on the bush or with a hog eye, setting on my jay with a hog eye, oh, she wants the hog eye man. Oh, 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 I won't bear a hog eye, damned if I do, got chickens in his feet and he can't wear shoes with a hog Skip her too with a hog eye, oh, on the bush or with a hog eye. Setting on the J with a hog eye, oh, she wants the hog eye man. Setting on the jig with a hog eye, oh, she wants the hog eye man. chat man that was um that was a mess it's almost like i haven't performed any music for a long time feels like a long time now it's been like a month since we've had a gig or a proper one anyway uh the the uh, the um attentive among you uh, may notice i got some lines the wrong way around and forgot some stuff but um it was quite hard to spot, so we'll see. <laughs> Very octane. <laughs> 
Um, what happened? Some things happened. Uh, Jewitter Topture, thanks for the um, eight months. That's a lot of that's a lot of great months. Uh, and Tomopteris, thanks for the nine. You are a pirate. Have you guys thought about doing banjo tutorials? Um, yeah, I thought about it a little bit. One, I'm not the most confident teacher um, or like presenter question mark if you know what I mean and like uh, and as a banjo player I feel like I've I've only I feel sometimes I feel like I've only just started thanks Joanna for the 13 you are pretty great Um, you know what I mean like I've Compared to like some legendary banjo players, um, I um, I've only really been playing for like maybe a year now, maybe maybe almost two. Do you use your middle or index finger for claw hammer? I use both of them for different things. Also, like the demand for for um, banjo lessons isn't as big. If, well, obviously, there's a lot of you here right now who would love some, but um, you know what I mean. Like, I feel like more people play guitar and would find guitar tutorials more useful. Question mark, um, which uh, isn't to put a slight on any banjo players, including myself. I'm also, yeah, not a very confident teacher or, or like lesson presenter. I'd be perfectly fine, like probably sitting down with some of you and trying to teach you some stuff, but I'm hoping like some of these streams are kind of like a, a banjo tutorial, but like, yeah. <coughs> the coffee went in the lung chat. <coughs> Turns out no one knows how to play banjo or just faking it. <coughs> oh my gosh. Um in answer to your question, I am um, if I'm if I'm single string picking, I use my index finger. So if I'm doing like That's all index finger. And if I'm going across multiple strings, just like... I'll often strum across with like all three of these. I don't know if that's right, but I do it. Like sometimes three, sometimes two, and then sometimes one, depending on like how ringy I want the strings to ring. If that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, if I'm, if I'm single string picking, I'll just use my index. And if I'm hitting multiple strings at the same time I'll use multiple fingers sometimes um, if that helps uh, right so is anybody um is anybody a Peaky Blinders fan because um, I started watching the final season well season five because I wanted to catch up with it. Um, and I was like, man, Red Right Hand is a great song by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, if anybody doesn't know. So I had a little go at it the other day. <laughs> sounded all right so I'm gonna attempt to uh, re relearn 
learn it very quickly. Um, love Nick Cave. So good. It's so good. If anybody's not a Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds fan, um, maybe try. He is, he is quite weird. It's pretty weird. Yes, it wasn't Hellboy. It wasn't Hellboy. Um, it's also the theme song for Peaky Blinders. But I had a I had a little go at it and I thought, oh, this is a really cool song. It might sound pretty good on the banjo. And now I'm trying to remember what key I played it in. I think it was D minor. I think I did it in D minor. I'm looking at chords chat. I'm cheating. sound like a convenience store a bit of a goth convenience store <laughs> come on down to nick cave's bad seed nick's cave of bad seeds um so yeah that's it's something like it's such a good song it's so good um i'm i'm gonna try and play oh, if i if i make a new tab and copy it into here i can have loads of it up on the screen I'm gonna try and play it. But I have to read the chords through at the same time, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be slightly difficult. But I can at least play the first verse, so that's a thing. I'm definitely gonna to have to stop my hand and scroll a bit when it gets to the important parts. Stacks of green paper in his red right hand. It's a shame it's too late to get a full deal tune. <laughs> One for the next album. Maybe. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Moving away from, like, the folky folk music to some weird stuff. It's Ellie. Oh, hey, thanks for the seven months. Um, welcome to this, this place. Right, I'm gonna have a go on this. I'm gonna have a go on this chat. Like a bird of doom as it shifts and cracks Where the secrets lie in the border fires In the humming wise, hey man, you're never coming back Past the square, past the bridge, past the mills, past the stacks On a gathering storm comes a tall handsome man In a dusty black coat with a red right hand He'll ride 
wrap you in his arms Tell you that you've been a good boy He'll rekindle all the dreams It took you a lifetime to destroy He'll reach a deep hole I oh, know, what'll he do? What's he gonna do, chap? He'll reach deep into the hole Heal your shrinking soul But there won't be a single thing that you can do He's a god, he's a man, he's a ghost, he's a guru They'll whisper in his name through this disappearing land But hidden in his coat is a red right hand Don't have no money, he'll get you some. You don't have no car, he'll get you one. You don't have no self respect, you feel like an insect. Well, don't you worry, buddy, cause here he comes. Through the ghettos and the barrio and the bowery and the slum Well the shadow is cast wherever he stands Sacks of green paper in his red right hand You'll see him in your nightmares You'll see him in your dreams He'll appear out of nowhere, but he ain't what he seems. You'll see him in your head on the TV screen. Hey, buddy, I'm warning you to turn it off. He's a ghost, he's a god, he's a man, he's a guru. Your one microscopic cog in his catastrophic plan. Designed and directed by his red right hand Hey, that's pretty good. Such a good song. I love, love really moody banjo stuff. Oh my gosh. The art museum near me had a Nick Cave sound suit. What's a sound suit? Oh, like sound suite. Sound suit? Like a suit that makes sound that you wear. Such a good song, chat. Like, and they're probably some of his best lyrics as well. Um, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all about like the devil. Pretty sure that's the vibe. It's some kind of folk tradition. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. Red, right, and meaning. Okay, it's from a, it's from Paradise Lost, which is a famous novel question mark is it a famous novel i've never read it paradise lost yes um the phrase was inspired by john milton's paradise lost where the red right hand represents divine vage div <laughs> divine vegetable where the red right hand represents divine vengeance um the violence of the song carried over into nick cave's next album murder ballads which references both Milton and Red Right Hand in its opening track, Song of Joy. Oh, cool. But yeah, it's from um, Paradise Lost, and it represents God's divine vengeance. So there you go. Divine vengeance. Divine vegetables, carrot. Oh no, d and is leaking into the stream.
Ähm, <lacht> who's, who's making Magic the Gathering references? Who's, who's doing that? I'm pretty sure it was in reference to Dak Faden. I was like, who's Dak Faden? Where have I read Dak Faden? Is he like a famous serial killer or something? And I was like, oh, wait, no. No, Dak Faden is a, um, is a planeswalker. Great. Getting super mixed up. Dak Faden does sound like a great Cockney serial killer. I'm Dak Faden. I'm going to shank you. It's played by Carl Urban. Um, did anybody watch the cool chiptune videos in the intro? Because uh, I would like to give praise to Arian for they are good at art. So good. Well, uh, I hope you're all enjoying that album. It's, it was a lot of. It was a bit of a laugh to make. We joked about it a little bit, and then we were like, "Why don't we actually do it?" So we did. Surprise. I'd like to explicitly praise Arian, for I am I am terrified of Arian's red right hand. Um, shall I play that? Shall I play that John Barleycorn Clutch song? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm in the right tuning, and now I'm in the mood for moody stuff. Am I adequately tuned? Yeah, so um, my red, white, red, white hand is also part blue. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> like French or American? Where are we going with this? Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, so this is a song by the rock band Clutch, who I love, I love a lot. Um, but it's um, one that was inspired well, inspired by um, the actual the actual English folk song, John Barleycorn. Actual folk song, Shia LaBeouf. So I was like, I have to try and learn this. I have to try and banjify. So uh, this is, yeah, a moody version of this. Growing cold. Run, 
John Bolly can run now run on home He intends to cut you down and put you to the stone You gonna lay me out to dry How many more years You gonna sentence me to die And neither one's telling me the reason why Run, John, Polly, come run now, run on home Miller's cup is empty and his fire's growing cold. Run, John Polly, come run now, run on home. He intends to cut you down and put you to the stone. Winter, when you're hungry and alone, come the long dark of winter, you're gonna treat me like a lord, just like you did the year before. Run, John, Bali, corn, run now. cup is empty and his fire's growing cold run john bali corn run now run on home he intends to cut you down and put you to the stone run john bali corn run now run on home His cup is empty and his fire's growing cold. Run, John Bali, corn, run now, run on home. He intends to cut you down and put you to the stone. Run, John Bali, corn, run by Clutch. Is, is a good one. I love the chorus. I love the chorus so much. Did I see Clutch announced a 2022 tour? Yeah, it's just American, right? Stupid Americans getting the cool stuff. Sorry, chat. Sorry, America. I've seen them twice. Yeah, twice. Clutch coming in clutch. Yeah, I think there was a date in the UK. I really paid the clips. I might have to uh, have a look at that. Oh, they played with Amigo and the Devil and the Dropkicks. That sounds like a great gig. I'm trying not to make quests. Shawnee Town is a great shout, and I think we could probably do something a little bit more upbeat. It's probably probably a good shout. Before I go back to moody stuff, because I will go back to moody stuff. Um, good night, five-year-old.
Sleep tight. Have you ever given Darling Corey a go? And you know I've not, actually. Um, I have heard it a bit, but I feel like I don't know it well enough to play it and sing it right now. Um, I did this in double C, so I'm going to retune the banjo. to come to the States soon. It's very soon, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, should be good. A little bit nervous. Only because I've never toured around the US before. And, um, yeah. Hopefully it all goes ahead and COVID doesn't mess everything up again. Um, Shawnee Town, this is a sea shanty that I heard Kimber's men do with their faces one time and I was like that's a really cool sea shanty and only recently I learnt it. it on banjo for a few for like a month so I'm gonna sit here and work it out again that's it I'm so glad so many of you bought tickets. It's really great. It means a lot. It's very exciting. Which means if more of you buy tickets now, which means the next time we go back, it'll be bigger and better. And we can do more things. Something like Castlefest. Oh my gosh, I'd love to go to Castlefest. Man, Castlefest looks so good. I've never been. It looks super fun. Um, right, short term. Oh, them 
good old boys They talk so loud and long They're white as a barrel And they're twice as strong And it's hard on the beach shore She moves too slow Way down to Shawnee Town On the Ohio The water's mighty warm, boys But the air is cold and dark and the cursive fog, it gets so thick that you cannot see the bank Can it start on the beach or she moves too slow Way down the shorty town on the Ohio Gotta we'll take up the slack. We'll float her down to Shawnee Town and we'll bushwhack her back. And it's hard on the beach, or she moves too slow. Way down to Shawnee Town on the Ohio. Sun rose up, we float down. Way down the Ohio, Shawnee Town And it's hot on the beach or she moves too slow Way down the Shawnee Town, the Ohio And it's hot on the beach or she moves too slow Way down the Shawnee Town, the Ohio Shawneetown, one of my favourite sea shanties right now. It's probably my favourite sea shanty right now. Um, I, yes, psychologist to the Astartes. Um, it is an excellent username. As a as a Warhammer fan, I appreciate it a lot. Um, she comes to Louisiana when it's crawfish season. Mm, crawfish. I miss going to Kimber's Men Gig. I miss going to Kimber's Men Gigs too. I've not seen them in like two years, three years. Actually found a pub that does folk nights when they're allowed to be in from past 11 p.m. Yeah, folk nights. If if there's one near you, go to it. Because they are great and support your local pubs. Thanks for doing that one. No worries. It's, um, if it's one of my favorites, I'm more than happy. Um. Oh, a while back I really drew my attention to the Ellen and Don't Stop Her Anymore. It's a very good song. I have never learnt it. Um, I feel like I'm not familiar enough with it to just have a go right now. If you know what I mean. Like, I don't mind having a go at songs that I already know kind of how to sing. So I don't have to think about the words much whilst I'm trying to work out the banjo. Um, speaking of songs like that, Shankle Butchers. Oh my gosh, I played that the other day. Oh yeah, let's go back to Drury songs. Where's where did I put my Shankill Butchers lyrics? There we go. Can't. 
play it in this tuning. Let's do Shankill Purchase. I'll have a go with it. I've not played it for a while. Murder Ballads and Tragic Death at Sea. Yeah, I'll, I'll do um, I'll do the Dishonored one in a bit as well. Uh watery grave um i've not played wicked game for a while which is super dreary maybe i'll do something else i don't know we'll have, we'll have a go but um first i'm gonna have a go on this december 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 song december song Those are the chords. Where the Wild Roses Grow, yeah, that would be a good one. Speaking of Nick Cave. Two Nick Cave songs in the night. That'd be a that'd be a thing. Um I'll have a go on that in a bit. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Shanker Butchers. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do the counting like he does on the album. Two, three, four. <laughs> that was a bit Emperor Palpatine, like soft Emperor Palpatine. The shine butchers right tonight. You better shut your windows tight. They're sharpening their cleavers and their knives And taking all their whiskey by the pint Cause everybody knows If you don't Mind your mother's words The wicked wind Everybody shake the shanking butchers wanna catch you away. <laughs> they used to be just like me and you. They 
used to be a sweet little boy But something went horribly askew Now killing is their only source of joy Cause everybody knows If you don't Mind your mother's words A wicked wind will blow Your rivers from your cars Everybody moans Everybody shank The shank kill butchers want to catch you away Kill butchers on the rise. They're waiting until the dead of night. They're picking at their fingers with their knives and wiping off their cleavers on their thighs. Cause everybody knows if you don't. Everybody moan, everybody shake The shine kill butchers want to catch you The shine kill butchers want to cut you The shine kill butchers want to catch you Away Spooky. Spooky time. Teddy Bear Tribe, and thanks for the 500 bits. Thanks very much. Me and my day, thank you. No worries. I really like the Decemberists. If anybody didn't know. Tom Waits, man. Fucking Tom Waits. I should learn some Tom Waits songs. Um, so good. Chocolate Jesus is a funny one, though. <laughs> That's a weird song. I love Tom Waits. That's a good shout, actually. Good shout, Queer Fish. Is it just banjo songs today? Yeah, it is just... Just wait, Joe. That was a weird voice. Have you listened to a group called Poor Man's Poison? No, I haven't. Mm. I have a banjo that I've wanted to get better at. Um, I recommend really trying to learn it. As always, learning musical instruments is hard. It's always a point where you get really frustrated and you think you can't do it. But if you just push through, you will get better. Um, thanks very much, by the way, for telling me I'm gorgeous. Um, 
My partner just suggested that you sound like Yaskia from the Witcher Netflix series. Is that a hint that I should do toss a coin? Um, have you ever played Illamat? No, I've not actually, but JD... Oh, maybe I did play it. JD, JD and Abby actually own it. Um, I th maybe I have played it with them. I can't remember if I have. should do that. Um, got to go. Thanks, Ray Tracer. Bat out of hell, dungeon cover. That would be a thing. Uh, that is a. I always forget how long that song is. Um, burn, butcher, burn. Oh yeah, that's the new one. Shop Jesus. I can't remember how Tom White sings it. <laughs> Gotta be a chocolate Jesus. Is that something like that? I can't remember. Am I familiar with 16 tons? Yeah, I am. I don't really know it very well, though. Um, it is a good one. I'd rather hear him play Folsom Prison Blues than Burn Butcher Burn. Folsom Prison Blues is good. Is that, did that censor? Did that censor something? Or was that you just typing a bunch of asterisks? Folsom. Is that a bad word? I don't know. Everybody keeps saying The Amazing Devil, and um, I haven't listened to enough. You asterisked, okay. Oh. I don't know what you've typed. So that's cool. Comments, Poison, Amazing Devil. I've not really listened to enough Amazing Devil. I have listened to a bit and they are good. And um, I was also Looking the other day, I think Shankill Butchers is based on true events, isn't it? Um, as the Decemberists do. It's, they were around the Troubles in Ireland, right? The Shankill Butchers were an Ulster Loyalist gang. Active between the 70s and the 80s in Northern Ireland. In the Shankill area. And were responsible for the deaths of at least 23 people. The gang was notorious for kidnapping, torturing, and murdering random or suspected Catholic civilians. Each was beaten ferociously and had their throat hacked with a butcher's knife. Some were also tortured and attacked with a hatchet. The gang also killed six Ulster Protestants over personal disputes, and two other Protestants mistaken for Catholics. Wow, that's pretty, pretty rough stuff. Maybe I should put a content warning on the stream. You know what, I could just play murder ballads and stuff forever. Also, the Decemberists are very good at writing songs. What a wonderful group of musicians. What did I say I was going to do, chat? Watery Grave, let's have a go on that. Um, but I might need to do some stuff to my windows. I was a bit worried the stream might crash today. My computer's been a bit um, unreliable the last few days. Touch wood, which I'm doing right now, all the time. My banjo. Welcome to horror story readings, Andy. It's not. It's not. It's almost a horror story. It's like a real. It's a true events, which is the true. Which is even more horrible. Is that it actually happened? My sister just came back from visiting our dad in Greece, and brought home some homemade tarama roe salad. I don't know what those two things are. 
Is row a fish? Is row a type of fish? What's row? Is it fish? Is it fish, Chad? Is row a type of fish? Horror story guest appearance on Chill Literacy. That's a funny that's a funny thing actually. Um I could I could do that. It might be fun. Sam kind of hinted at it a while ago. But we never did anything. But I do have some I do have some folk horror books in the back over on my shelf. So there we go. Look at all you chillitracy fans, oh my gosh. Fish eggs. Oh I'll pass on the fish eggs. Thanks very much. It's a proto fish. That makes it sound better. Proto fish. That's my new band name. For my solo banjo stuff. Hello, we are proto fish. And this song is called Row Salad. It's my um, solo banjo metal act. Banjo core. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, Watery Grave. I'm going to play this song. This is from um, Dishonored. Changed the key last time I did it. What did I do? Was it was it in that key? I feel like it was. I feel like it made me sing quite high. Which is fine. If I'm prepared. The chorus would be Wind blows over the sinky black wave. Rather protect me from a watery grave. Choppy, and the whaler she sways. I can't keep no food down. I can't find no sleep. Cause the night is too dark. And the water's too deep. Maybe I should do a Tom Waits song. I should try a Tom Waits song before the stream ends. You were listening to the latest VOD when Andy came online. Ooh. Stop watching that VOD. It's time to watch me. I could murder... And folk ballad from America's American Murder Song. Yeah, I've listened to quite a lot of American Murder Song actually. They're quite, they're pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. First ever circle pit caused by a banjo. It's probably not. Y'all keep saying Watery Grave, and I'm like, why do we keep talking about the Blue Black Shot Clan? <laughs> oh, Magic the Gathering. Is that, is that, how many Magic the Gathering fans are in chat? right now because um me and me and JD are going to do some arena sometime soon. I don't know when, but we um we're going to play some um arena on stream sometime. Um we made a longest john we made a we made a baby brand new longest john's uh magic the gathering arena account with uh we've got nothing. We've got some packs to open um and stuff. Also, uh, fun fact, uh, Watery Grave is the only shock land I own in paper. So there you go. Cool fact. And it's the song I play. Um, 
so yeah, here's, this is a tribute to the only the only shock land for me. The only shock land I own. Watery Grave. It's also from Dishonored or something. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, this is from Dishonored 2. This is a wonderful song in found in the game, uh, and I came up with a version of it. So. Summer I bought a soul wooden ship The sun she was shining on to let Calero's dark slip But now it's all storms way out in cold seas And if I don't die, then surely I'll freeze Wind blows over the sinky black wave Brother protect me from a watery grave
No worries, unidentified orange. Thanks, everybody. Just reading back chat, sorry. Brother protect, please. Brother protect. Um Brother protect me. Protect me, brother. Be strong for mother. I do? Oh, let's do Wicked Game. Let's do that. I probably am um, not going to go for the usual f four hours that the Sea of Thieves stream would be because I feel like streaming music for that long is a lot. But I am going to adjust my chair and play War Wicked Game, which is um by who who did this again? Chat? Who did Wicked Game? Is it from the 80s? Was it an 80s song? Was it 90s? Ah, oh, hi, Barbary. Let's get back to that in a minute, Teddy Bear. Is is Wicked Game Chris Isaac? Yeah, that's right. Was it was it from? Is it from the eighties, chat? Or was it like the nineties? Or am I way off? Nineteen eighty nine. Interesting. <laughs> It's, it's a three chord wonder, um, which is lovely. Open G capo two. That's what my notes say. So let's do that. Arian going. Goodbye, Arian. Thanks for sticking around. I won't be on much longer, I don't think. Um, I th do I? Do I? Ha I do have moderators, right? Anathema and Budot are here. Correct. If some stuff needs moderating, yeah, it's all right. No, don't worry about Budot. No, I didn't mean to summon you. Quick, go back. Get back in the box. Good night, Arian. Thanks for all the things you do. Quote Andy, what time of our life did Wicked Game became made upon the world? Um, I realized I missed a whole raid whilst I was probably playing something cool. Um, Hefty Yeti, thanks for the raid. 17 minutes ago, he's still here. Oh my gosh, 17 minutes. Whoops. Whoopsie. Um, I I don't think my chat even goes back that far. Oh no no there it is I see it. Thanks for um, thanks for the raid if you're still here or any any hefty yetians around. Um, thanks very much. And uh, Jade the dwarf, thanks for the eight months. Who well, are? Uh, Goodbye, Phoenix. Good and a good arting. 
to you. Sorry, I just punched my desk. Right, Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. Oh, I had a little riff. I'm gonna try and remember that. It's this. It's a three. It's a three chord banger. It's those three chords. Those are the ones. And then I was like. Desire will make foolish people do. Well, I never dream that I'd lose somebody like you. And I never dream that I'd lose somebody like you.
with you Jewel Monocles, wow, thanks for the Prime sub. That is a good name. I'm enjoying the uh, thought of Jewel Monocles. Um, it's like a pair of glasses, right? Is that the joke? Is that the joke? I think that's the joke. Chris Isaac, the king of emotional breakups. It's such like a dreary love song, I love it. It's like not folk at all, right? Sort of, I guess. What's what is folk? What's not folk? I don't know. Who am I to judge? Um, you just jump through all the hoops to recover your password. Oh, hello! Thanks for um, thanks for questing for your password. Randito78, thanks for the prime sub too. Thanks very much. Well, what are the odds of my actual brother? Are you two actual, actual real life brothers? That's pretty cool. What a beautiful moment. Oh yeah, hi Barbary. Um let's let's remember how that goes. Look ahead, look astern. Look the weather in the lee. Blow high, blow low. Are those the words at all? What's the Assassin's Creed ones? Because those are the ones I want. Coastify Barbary. Look ahead, look astern. Look the weather in the lee. Blow high, blow low, and so sailed we. I see a wreck to windward and a lofty ship to lee. The sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Right. <laughs> Convenient, you got him to say your username out loud. All thanks to the power of Amazon Prime. All thanks to Bezos Books. Um, yeah, Hi Barbary is one of the best sea shanties. So, I've yeah, I don't know. I've never played this before. So let's let's think about chords chat. Here you go. Let's do a little live, live learn sort of thing. Let's start, start with capo off. Okay. It, is it, is it in minor straight away? Let's do A minor. Look ahead, look astray, look the weather. Look ahead, very low. Look ahead, look astern. Look ahead, look astern. Look the weather in the lee. Blow high, blow low, blow. Look ahead. There would be all right. I 
could go there and capo my drone string here onto that C and capo three. There we go. Let's do that. Just close down black phone. <laughs> if you're coming to the Netherlands, I'll definitely be there, France or the UK. Yeah, we're we'll, we're definitely going to go back to Europe sometime. There's just a lot of places we'd like to go, and we can only do one at a time. Um. Like stone, like the weather and the lee. So that's all on that minor chord, and then we go blow high, no, blow high, blow high, blow high. Gallic stone up the weather in the lee, blow high, blow low. Ooh, that's not that's not what I want to do. Gallic stone up the weather in the lee. Something like that kind of works. Look, oh, are you a pirate or a man of war? Cried we. Blow high, blow low, and so blow high, blow low, and so sail. I think I'm putting that C in there for no reason. Look ahead, look stern, look the weather in the lee. Blow high, blow low, and so sail we. I see a wreck to windward and a lofty ship to lee Sailing down along the coast of high Barbary oh, Are you a pirate or a man of war? cried we Blow high, blow low, and so sail we Oh no, I'm not a pirate, but a man of war cried he Let's go back to that Oh no, I'm not a pirate, but a man of war cried he Sailing down along the coast of I Barbary Back up our topsails and heave our vessel to Blow high, blow low, and so sail we For we've got some letters to be carried home by him Sailing down along the coast of I Barbary Side, they fought all on the main Blow high, blow low And so sail we Until at last the frigate Shut the pirate's mast away A sailing down along the coast of high Barbary With cutlass and gun We fought for hours three Blow high, blow low And so sail we 
The ship it was their coffin, and the grave it was the sea. Was sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Maybe that drone string is a bit too spooky. Something like that, chat. I can't remember who was like going on about it. Was it um was it Teddy Bear? Was Teddy Bear? Who who asked for this in the first place? I can't remember. Um <laughs> about this drone string up here. Maybe I can leave it down there, Jack. No worries anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it a few more times because it's brand new. Um look at like a stone like the weather and the look at like a stone like the weather and the leaves. Look at like a stone like the weather do that. Look ahead, look astern, look the weather in the lead. Blow high, blow low, so say we. I see you wreck to windward, a lofty ship to lead. Sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Who oh, are you a pirate or a man of war? cried we. Blow high, blow low, so say we. Oh no, I'm not a pirate, but a man of war cried he. Sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. We back up our topsails and heave our vessel too. Blow high, blow low, and so sail we. For we have got some letters to be carried home by you. They're sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. For broadside, for broadside, they fought along the main. Blow high, blow low, and so say we. Until at last the frigate shot the pirate's mast away. They're sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Fought for hours three, blow high, blow low, and so say we. The ship it was their coffin, and their grave it was the sea. They're sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. The ship it was their coffin, and their grave it was the sea. A sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. There we go. Put it on the list. Um, there we go. What is your favourite song to play? Um, probably Shawnee Town. Well, um, maybe like, I, I've whatever it is, I've already played it, and it changes all the time. So it's pretty cool, right? What a cool sea shanty. She's in the Dread Crew of Oddwood. Um, yeah, I do know them, um, and I've not learnt any of their music.
Are you challenging Budok to play that song? Key was that in? That was whatever chord that is. Chat. I don't. I don't know. I'm not good at music in that sense. That's um. C minor. It's a C minor chord, right? G, C, D sharp. Does does C? Who's? Are there any music boffins in chat? Does C, G, and D sharp make a C minor chord? That is C minor, right? Yes, hooray! So many yeses. Um, remember to properly season your crows before I blacken. Have you blackened the crow? It sounds like some kind of um. Do I know the Golden Bounty? Uh, that's a good song. Um, but no, I don't, I'm afraid I can't play it. Only learn one thing per stream. Have you blackened? It sounds like a spell. First, you must blacken the crow. Then you must visit the Cumberling Bap. The Cumberling Bap. The Cumberland Gap. Then you must foggy the Jew. And call him Jane. The cum cumber. What did I say? Cumberlang Bap. Cumberman Bap. Benedict Cumberland Gap. The Cumberling Bap. The Crumbling Bop? Benedictus Cumberless Bappus. Cumber Gap. I like Cumber Gap. Benedict Cucumber Batch. We're talking about Boopal Buns Cucumber Natch, yes. I've started something that I can't stop, so uh, knock yourselves out. The Camber Slang Flap, the Crumper Batch. Oh yeah, I live in Cumberland, we have excellent sausage. This. I guess I guess I should probably play the Cumberland Gap, so I'll tune I'll tune for that. This song is definitely not about the place that Cumberland sausages come from, right? Or am I or am I deeply mistaken? Sack summer hat. I like that. Uh. Sounds pretty good. And the Cumberland Farms near the gap. The Cumberland Sausage Gap. 
Cum <laughs> the Cumberland Bimbibap. What? What's a bim? What's a what's a bibimbap? Is that a real thing? Crumble sack summer hat. I think crumble sack summer hat is my favourite. Well done, everybody. Right. Um. Delicious. I must be off Andy in chat. Thank you so much for the stream and camaraderie. No worries. I'm not going to go on for much longer. In fact, I think this may be the last song. Bibimbap is a really tasty Korean. It does sound like a tasty Korean dish. Quite daunting now because um, it's hard. Where's where's my Cumberland Gap lyrics? Cumberland Gap, Cumberland Gap. Da -da -boo -da -boo -da. I had a nice bap. Now, as far as I was aware, Cumberland sausage is extremely English, right? C Cumberland is a place in England, right? Come on, Wikipedia. Cumberland is a historic county of northwest England that had an administrative function from the 12th century until 1974. Something, something, Northumberland, County Durham, Roxburghshire, that's an exciting name. This is, that is where the sausages come from, right? Cumberland was a place anyway, now it's been split between Cumbria and Northumberland. Oh, right. It's like you've literally split the word in half and like added some stuff on. Cumberland, Cumbria and Northumberland. Well done, England. Well done. <clears throat> um, this is gonna be the last song. This is um, not about Cumberland, England, where the sausages come from. This is about the Cumberland Gap in America. It's an Appalachian folk song. Um, it's relatively nonsensical. So here we go. This um, this arrangement I'm about to play it was uh, by a, a wonderful lady called Meredith Moon. It's probably one of my favorite banjo players. So um, go listen to her music. because She is super good and my favorite. Gonna leave 
Tommy Jones sitting right there If it ain't there when I get back Gonna raise hell up the Cumberland Gap some food that I'm not going to go and eat a Cumberland sausage um just gonna just gonna do a little chat read as well like you're all chatting about sausages or whatever Cumberland Square. Is 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 Cumberland Gap Cumberland's not a region then, it's just a specific geographic feature. Okay. Cumberland Falls. There's probably lots of Cumberlands in America, right? We're going down a rabbit hole and I'm not gonna talk about it now because I'm gonna end the stream. Oh my gosh. Um Cool. I am um, think Boodot, you gifted a sub to Rob Raven oh my gosh thanks very much um super cool is you here Rob oh hey Rob how you doing nice to see you um I hope you've not just popped in because I'm about to head off more songs about sausages I love a sausage song um <laughs> that was a good typo. I enjoyed that one. I am indeed. I'm God, bud. I am God. Lord of the high seas. Um, no, I'm glad you're doing good. Should I Should I raid someone? Really, I'm one of those raiders that really doesn't like to stick around. Um, so really, uh, let's have a look. Is there anybody? Is there anybody online? Is there anybody online? Is there anybody doing cool stuff? Is there anybody online? Do, 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 do. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put my headphones on and listen to some people play some music. Always raid someone you love. It's a nice human thing to do. Mm -hmm. 
I was just looking at MM again, free range. There's also a guy called Rooftop Revival. He's just playing chill jazz music. And I'm like, all about it. I'm actually going to raid this guy. He looks super cool. Oh my gosh, this is what I need right now, chat. This, this human being is getting raided. Uh, rooftop revival. Uh, the the um the stream title is pre World War Three, which is quite funny. Pre World War Three jazz and houseplant lullabies, um and it's just playing super nice jazz guitar. Um and his voice is really great, and there's and there's friggin' plants everywhere. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna send you all over. Don't. Don't be be really great people. Um, we'll see you soon. I don't know when. Oh, I think we're playing D and D this Sunday. I'm pretty pretty sure we're playing D and D this Sunday on stream. So, um, yeah. Uh, peace out. Um, and uh, all that stuff. Bye.